Hi everyone and welcome back to my bladder atrophy uh, section of YouTube. Um, I just want to say to people that are out there in the community, if you are struggling, please reach out as much as you can. Um, I've just started to receive some counselling for my mental health for my bladder atrophy. I haven't received any mental health help for a long time. And to get back into the world of getting help is good. Trust me, if you haven't received any sort of counselling or mental health help before, and you are struggling with your mental health because of your blood or extra fee, please reach out and get help. Go to your GP and ask that you need help. Trust me on this. We can't keep relying on ourselves to try and fix ourselves. We can only do so much and please go and get the help you need. The anxiety and depression sucks and it's hard to dig yourself out when you fall fall down into that realm of depression and anxiety so please reach out get help a lot of the people on the Facebook groups would be willing to help you so please reach out to them as well even if it takes a while to get into some counseling sessions stick within the groups and tell them that you're struggling and they will be welcoming arms to help you out there will be virtual hugs coming from everybody around the world so please don't forget to keep using facebook for help trust me on this one just keep asking for help through the community and also try and get help from your GP it really is something that really needs to be done if you're the sort of person that's been struggling ever since you were born and your mental health has slipped please go out and find help it's something that really needs to be done and I know it's hard but you gotta take the bull by the horn and go and get the help that you really do need. There is always light at the end of the tunnel and it's hard to find that light. I know, I've been on that journey myself. There are a lot of people out there that have struggled and they do understand the pain that you are going through. So just please try and reach out and get the help you need. We're all here to help. We're all here to um, not let put you down or anything we're all here to just make sure that you're fine and that you are not going to do anything silly because there is always light at the end of the tunnel and there is always help around that door it's hard to find the help you need but trust me it's there and people are willing to help if you are in the community and on Facebook and you're at your darkest hour, reach out and we're here to guide you as much as we can without giving you a medical advice because mental health is something that is very hard to deal with and we don't want to give out the wrong information. We're here to help but we're not there to force a lot of things onto you that's where a professional would come in handy trust me on that one we need professional help when it comes to our mental health like we get professional help for from urology to look after all our other issues so just reach out find your GP and tell them that you're struggling and then come to Facebook and tell us that you've found some you've asked your GP you've gone on the first step we can help you continue on that right path and then support you through your counseling sessions we as a big community love to help people and 
finding that help is very hard, but once you've found it, treasure it. Treasure it to your heart. Follow everything they give you, all the tips, tricks that they can give you. Write them down. Don't try and not forget any of the new tools that they're going to show you how to look after yourself. Because you've got to look after your mental health as much as you do with your physical health. I'm serious about this and mental health is a the big number one when it comes to bladder atrophy I think. Yes we've got to look after all our other parts that relate to bladder atrophy but I think our mental health is at the top of the list because we need we've gone through so much that we need to We've gone through so much that our brains get through, go through a lot of traumatic stuff and we need to work through all that and without having mental health team on our side it's hard to focus on that. So it's always good to have a mental health care. It's priority and I think it's one of the top things on the list like I said we need to look after everybody's health including mental so if you feel like you need the help reach out find your GP let them know that you need help they will find someone for you and just keep focusing and reach out to us like we like I've always said we're here to help we're not here to criticize we're not here to judge who is for us to judge we can't judge anybody so just focus on looking after yourself focus on all the happy things in life ask for the help you need and once you receive the help your life will feel so much better trust me on that I have started counseling myself I've only had two sessions so far but it has helped me immensely I haven't done this in years and to get back into it is a godsend and we need to keep focusing on everything we need to remember that we we look after we are got to put ourselves first don't put yourself on the back burner like I have remember to take your life first you need to look after yourself first I know it's hard for for you to hear that and we've got to look after family friends but remember look after yourself first you come first work comes second you come first your health is very important and we need to keep keep going and focus on all the positivities in life please reach out to you to a friend if you are struggling reach out to the community on Facebook if you're struggling we are here to help you not please do not do not do this alone we have done this ourselves as well so we know how to help so just reach out remember we're always here you guys are awesome be brave be be you and we're always here to help the community so please let's just hope that this will help people have a blessing, have a blessed day wherever you are in the world and see you until the next video. Bye bye guys.